All right, um, I have no idea how this thing works, so we're gonna figure it out together. Um, first thing is I need to figure out how to open the box. Might not be smart enough to figure out how to open this. There's tape here. I don't wanna destroy the box. I'm gonna just pick up this tape with my fingernail. If I'm not smart enough to open the box, and I don't think I deserve one of these. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. It's important not to damage the tape. Ended up damaging the box anyway and destroyed the tape. I don't have anything sharp at my desk. Either. There we go. Okay. Um, just put it here. Like that. Oh, there we go. All right. Get the lid open. That's kind of cool. And then here it is. All right. Feels kind of heavy. It's about the weight of an apple, maybe. Um, let's see what else is in the box here. Got some. Padding and then, okay, here, here's what looks like a quick start guide. And then a wire. Be interesting to think, see if it's uh, got a charge in it. Sometimes things come completely dead and sometimes they have a little bit of a charge. Ooh, there's a little blue power button here. Let's press this power button and see what happens. Oh, it lit up. That's exciting. All right. Um, see if I can get this so we can see it together. Ooh, that's really exciting. So uh, it's weird playing with thumbs. That's gonna take a little getting used to. Definitely gonna have to read the instructions. Oh, there's volume on this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's volume. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Press the A button and then it changes the instrument somehow. I've switched to bass. Oh, it advances through. Oh no, I got chords. Okay. Yeah. Back to drums, it looks like. vibrato. Fun. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to read the manual and I'll come back with some more information. So I, I, I'm back and I, I didn't actually read the manual. I, uh, went out to go to the bathroom, that's why I rushed out, and then my kids distracted me and made me read them a bedtime story, and uh, then I took a shower. So I'm just as dumb as I was uh, before I changed my shirt. So um, I have the quick start guide. Well, I guess we'll just learn how to do this together. So power button, turn it back on. Colorful lights. I think it boots up, it, like takes a moment to load the software or something is what's going on, and then it's ready to go. All right. 
So I have the quick start guide and we're just gonna read this together here. So, update Orba. Make sure you have the latest and greatest features by updating your firmware. You can do this by downloading the Orba app for the desktop and connecting via USB. That's really washed out, there we go. All right, um, I'll do that later. Tapping A, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is, uh, this is an insert about the uh, federal something or other mm, FCC re requirements or whatever. Anyway, um, the A button lets you easily switch between four playing modes. I already figured that out. The A button also acts as a menu for selecting different options, play, pause, record, BPM, and octave. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. So if we look at this, I've got like one, two, three, and four are drum, uh, bass, chord, and lead. And then I have five, six, seven, and eight, which are, looks like play, pause, uh, record, BPM, and octave. Okay. Um, keep exploring, connect to apps. And actually, that's it. There's not a whole lot of information on this thing. So, um, I guess we'll just fiddle with it. Um, so, it says the A button can be used to do the recording and the BPM and stuff. So, let's try pressing the A button. Oh, if I hold the A button, these all light up. See, if I press the A button and then the record button, what happens? Okay. Hmm, I haven't quite figured out how this recording works yet. Oh, okay. So I held the A button for a minute there and then pressed record and now I've got some sort of a um, uh, metronome. Oh, what happened? Okay, I wanna switch back to drums. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna press and hold and record. Okay. Switch instruments. Okay. Just can record back on again.
I'm still trying to figure out how it works. Oh, there it goes. You gotta hold it down and then tap the BPM. Hang on. button. I think you hold the A button and then press this. There we go. I don't know what steps to use. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to fiddle with it some more, but I think I have the general idea. That's pretty easy to use, actually. All right, we're gonna go play with this some more. I don't know how to really do, make music. Yeah, but do, do what you were just doing again. That was really cool. I don't even know how you did it. Try to turn it so they can see what you're doing. Kind of like pick this so they can see your thumbs. So if you press that, that's that's like your control button. So right now you're on drums, see? And if you press that to switch to bass. Oh wait, let's move back to lead. Okay, now it's to bass. And here is to chords, and it's to lead. Lead is like piano. When you go on drums, you get different drum sounds you can make, and then this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is figuring out faster than I did. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what we can do, I don't know how to, if I'm gonna record. Yeah, I don't know how to clear what I've already done though. lit but it doesn't look like it's recording oh all right the baby's yelling all right 